Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at the crypto market. So we actually see it right now down about 1.3% in the last 24 hours across the board. You know, Bitcoin's right below 36,000, Ethereum around 2,400. So really the market's doing exactly what we thought. You know, altcoins are struggling a little bit more than Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, we have seen, uh, you know, more of a stabilization or manipulation uh, FUD stage, this accumulation phase, um, you know, just really continuing on. And I think a lot of people are investing still with these price points but there are a lot of people that have taken out and that's exactly why we're seeing tether back to 62.6 billion dollars in market cap we actually saw it at 62.8 billion probably three or four weeks ago and we're continuing to see this rebuild because it actually went all the way down to 60 uh 62 billion so it's gained 0.6 billion in the last you know three weeks so we are continuing to see people put into usdt a lot of investors looking to invest uh on these dips and i think you know realistically we are going to have a lot more you know large dips coming um it's just all about you know buying those dips making sure to dollar cost average take advantage of these dips like i said and i think you are going to you know we are going to see a part two of the bull run come very very soon and i think a lot of people are going to be very very excited about this because you know a lot of people are jumping out and thinking that this is the bear market and i still do not think that this is the bear market unless you know unless a bear market can be three to four months long this is not a bear market so i do think you know realistically we are going to see a lot of you know great things happen out of this uh you know manipulation and fud stage i think you know we are getting great price points right now if you're taking advantage of them i do expect you know some fairly good price points by the end of the year or, or the end of the bull market so we're going to take a look at some crypto news today um, as well so before we get started too much into it i do want to take a look at my first tweet so basically here i'm just trying to give back to the community you guys have been awesome we're getting closer to 100k subscribers so i went out and found some sponsors basically to cover a giveaway so i'm giving 1k worth of jacks tokens as well as 1k worth of same coin tokens to two lucky winners uh this will actually end july 10th 2021 all you have to do is follow me on twitter and retweet the tweet so guys take advantage of that i would do want to give back to you guys because you guys have been amazing and supporting the channel quite uh, you know, for quite some time now. Uh, but I do want to jump into another um, article. So this article talks about iconic Doge meme NFT breaks record selling four million dollars. So the meme of Shibu Unu, uh, you know, really the mascot, is officially the most expensive memed NFT ever sold. It's crazy to think that this is an NFT that sold for four million, considering uh, you know you could go in Photoshop and probably make that in about thirty-five seconds. Um, but you know, it's it's definitely uh it's definitely hyped up right now you know a lot of people understand that meme coins are insanely you know popular as well as you know nfts being insanely popular so um not surprising i guess at the same time as very surprising so uh just another random thing to cover kind of in that cryptoverse obviously nfts kind of break into uh the cryptoverse quite a bit we also see this small 401k provider wants to bring cryptocurrency to americans uh obviously retirement funds so this is definitely a good thing we continue to see mass adoption taking place and these are the things that uh, really will bring that to us so a small 401k provider called Forasol is now allowing participants to allocate up to 5% of their retirement funds into cryptocurrency. Coinbase will secure and manage the funds. So this is definitely a big deal. Uh, you know, continuing to see this stuff take place, like I said, is going to continue to make mass adoption take place. And that's exactly what we need to really move up to the next level is more investors, more retail investors, more people understanding what crypto is. Um, I'll tell you right now, you know, there are a lot of people starting to mine on their own systems, just making, you know, two bucks a day or whatever else. Um, and it's just getting, you know, crazy. I, I love to see a lot of people jumping on board and just trying to get involved with crypto because they understand it's the future. I think, you know, the younger you are, the better chance you have at understanding the future because, you, you know, the younger you are, the more, uh, you know, more realistic that your, I guess, your friends and your family at that age level will understand what you're dealing with or, you know, looking into. I guess, you know, a lot of us understand that we have, you know, 60, 70, 80 year old parents or, you know, grandparents and they're, they're not all about it usually. Uh, you can talk them into it occasionally, but you know, for the most part, it's all about this newer and younger generation that's going to make crypto boom. And I think, you know, in 20 to 30 years from now, a lot of us are going to be very, very excited about following this journey, uh, following this crypto journey to, uh, you know, the top. So uh, it's very exciting. We'll definitely keep you guys up to date all the way through. If you guys have not subscribed already, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. I guess I'll throw that out there real quick. Um, but, you know, we also have the Alonzo Cardano's public testnet has first smart contract successfully executed. So this is pretty huge for Cardano, obviously on that path. Well, on that path, I guess, to that, uh, you know, smart contracts being complete. We continue to see uh, a chance to get it done, you know, before September, I guess, 
you know, in September, realistically. Uh, a lot of people are very excited about the smart contracts coming to Cardano. I do expect prices to move up in September or even leading up to September as, you know, currently, I believe our price is below $1.50, which is just unbelievable. Um, yeah, $1.48 right now for Cardano, uh, about $1.49 now, but we actually saw it dip down to $1.38. We actually over here saw it $1.36, June 12th at 1.05 a.m. So great opportunities to buy Cardano if you're looking to invest in such a great coin. Um, I definitely think this coin is, you know, one of those that has one of the biggest long-term potentials out of pretty much any coin. Um, you know, it's up there with uh, things like Chainlink, in my opinion. Chainlink is another great coin. Um, but, you know, realistically, we're going to continue to see great, great things take place with the crypto markets, uh, really continuing on this mass adoption train. We also see India may classify Bitcoin as an asset class, but that may not solve the underlying problem. So it talks more really about the Indian government is reportedly mulling over classifying Bitcoin as an asset class of its own. This will make it easier for Indians to trade it in by giving the Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI, control without banning Bitcoin coin altogether. Regulation around cryptocurrencies is expected to be really tabled in a parliament during the monsoon session next month. So I'm sure we'll get you know more information, hopefully not FUD, hopefully not uh, manipulation, but hopefully great news for the crypto markets coming next month. We also see Col uh, Colorado Governor Jared Polis wants his state to be the first to accept uh, cryptocurrencies for taxes. So this has actually been going on for a little bit now, but you know it's great to actually see this push continue on. So the Colorado Governor Jared Polis wants his state to be the first to accept those cryptocurrencies for taxes. He said he'd be thrilled to see, uh, you know, really thrilled to be the first state to let you, you know, pay your taxes in variety of cryptos. So he's not just talking about Bitcoin, obviously. He's talking about a variety of cryptos, which would be sweet. Um, you know, a lot of people would love the idea of obviously being able to pay taxes in crypto. So Polis has actually been a long uh, term, or I guess a Polis has been, um, you know, that long term crypto bull. And, you know, it really was one of the first politicians to accept campaign donations in Bitcoin, too. Uh, so that's just interesting information there. Uh, I do want to take a look at this as well, because this is huge. Iran president said that he wants to legalize cryptocurrencies as soon as possible. So we've, heard, we've already kind of heard the talk about Iran being a possibility. Um, but the fact is, he wants to push this as soon as possible. And I think, you know, it's definitely going to help up with the hype of, you know, El Salvador accepting and obviously being, uh, or I guess making Bitcoin a legal tender in the country. Um, this would be huge as well. I think we are going to continue to see, you know, mass adoption taking place. And obviously, when cryptos are starting to be accepted across the world in different countries, um, you know, we are going to start to see mass adoption fully take, you know, place in the crypto world. We have one more thing to look at today. It's just going to be a Reddit post. And I thought this was really cool. So my credit union accepted my crypto as assets on a mortgage application. So it was listed in the current value of my Coinbase account and self-custody crypto, along with things like stocks, retirement accounts, as assets on a bunch of recent mortgage refi applications, was shocked that uh, really out of all places I applied that my credit union accepted it and treated them just like my stock account, valued at 70% of market price. They asked for three month statements from Coinbase and the public addresses of any self custody holdings. I'll take this as yet another sign that mass adoption is right around the corner. And I will as well. I, you know, I think this is going to continue to take place. These kind of things that shock people that used to not be even a possibility, you know, three to five years ago are starting to become, you know, really well, you know, well made and well known. I think a lot of people are excited about this. Uh, the possibilities and potential behind some of these, uh, you know, holding crypto in general is going to be huge. And I think a lot of us are excited, like I said. So I do want to jump back to the prices real quick. Let's do a quick price update. And I will be doing a couple more videos today, guys, giving you guys updates on some coins. You know, yesterday we talked about altcoins maybe actually crashing, um, and we continued to see that really take place in the last couple hours. We saw, you know, since I made that video, we saw, let's see here, um, it was probably, what day was it? I mean, obviously it was the 11th, um, so it was about $1.54 or 5 uh, probably around $1.54 or 5 and then it actually dropped after I made the video down to $1.36, Cardano specifically, so I would assume... You know, across the board, altcoins did pretty much crash after that video. I do think, you know, we are going to continue to see that kind of stuff take place with altcoins. Altcoins are in a rough spot right now, obviously, with a lot of focus shifted, uh, kind of shifted to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, there's not much focus on altcoins right now, as well as the market struggling. So when that does take place, obviously, you know, BTC and ETH pairs are struggling with, uh, you know, altcoins specifically. Um, and I think that's going to continue on. So I do want to say, guys, I think, you know, realistically in the long term, altcoins are the way to make the most money. Uh, but like I said, they are very volatile. They are, you know, more risk, uh, more risk reward, I guess, involved with altcoins. And I think, you know, realistically, 
when we get to that bull run part two, it will be great to have invested in you know some of these altcoins at low prices. So just make sure you're dollar cost averaging, not spending more than you can afford to lose, and always do your own research before investing as this is not financial advice. I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said previously, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.